Holy shit. My new car's here. That thing looks way better than the Facebook ad. It does look pretty good, huh? Howdy. What's up? You find, uh, you find the mansion okay? Sick. I'm game. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jacob. So, so I got some, uh... ESR CS11 for the wheels. Okay. And then it's on some SR Performance Racing Springs. Okay. And then nothing's really done to the engine. It's pretty stock under the engine. It's not uh, pretty loud. Is it, is it got an exhaust? No mufflers. It's like an MBRP catback. Is this like when they squat their trucks? But like <laughs> it's right reverse. You tow trailers with it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, tow okay. So. so the gap is so then you could tow trailers with it. Got it. And I got the GT500 wing, which I did a garage spray paint on it. Oh. Yeah, it's got a nice run in it. Rust mm -hmm. Rust 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 yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's like, I heard those hey, are yeah. expensive. It's got the sparkles in it though if you look real close. Oh really? Yeah. A carbon fiber deck lid and the little Is that real bed. carbon fiber? Uh yeah. 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 He wants sixty nine thousand for the car, so I figured it has a lot of carbon upgrades. Is that a real coyote? Is it like bark and shit? Yeah. It's a five oh in it, right? Yeah. Okay, can you pop the hood. Yeah, yeah, I can a lot of space, huh? I thought you said it was supercharged. Um, or is that the supercharged? Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Oh, this yeah. is a supercharged. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How much did it make on the Dyna? Uh, like eight sixty to the wheel. Eight sixty. Yeah. A little low for me. I might have to change a couple things. Yeah. But okay. on the interior, I got the I got the Starlight headliner. You didn't have Lindsay Brokowski detail it before you uh, came no, here. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, it's manual. Fuck. Man I don't know how to drive manual. I only had like the first G fifty six watt fifth gen. Did you do this? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, you did a horrible job. These aren't even LED. Yeah, I haven't got to that yet. Can I keep the Dr. Pepper? You, yes, you can just have the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> it's, it's really hot. Yeah, yeah, it works for me. I'll take it. I'll just wire you. Just send me your wire information. And um, I don't really know how you're going to get back on the driveway. You just walk. Yeah, that's something yeah. we can okay. do. We didn't think about that. Yeah, all right. Well, have, have a good night. Thank you, man. See you, bye. Yeah. Merry Christmas. See you all. It's freaking Mustang. We got a Mustang. Yeah. What is the Stang saying? It didn't really say much. It's not really that loud. He forgot his rubber ducks. You forgot like it's everything. Is it walled in here? You got a long walk. They definitely have a long walk. Uber doesn't really like come out this far. Where did he say he was from? Nashville? Um, yeah. That's like 36 hours away. Oh. Bro. Is it supposed on, to stall like that? Uh, yeah. It is? Yeah. <laughs> Pull the tab up to the oh. left. I think we're gonna have to make a couple changes. I wanted like a daily driver. I definitely do not yeah. wanna drive a manual. Um, you know, I think I I think I think got like swindled a little bit. He said in the ad that it had a supercharger. Yeah, I don't think and it does. It definitely does not have a supercharger, bro. Yeah, that's- Is that a supercharger? That, I don't know why they put a 5.0 badge on a supercharger. It doesn't even have an intake, bro. That's stock. Is this even a GT350? I think it's an EcoBoost. I'm pretty sure, yeah. It sounded like an EcoBoost. Bro, yeah, it's not even loud. I you think can I... call your dad and overnight some parts or something. Yeah, I got this Mustang, but I think I got ripped off. Okay, I'm gonna need some parts. Just send me like a hundred grand. Okay, yeah, I'll order everything. PayPal's fine. Okay, thank you. Does your uncle still have that Turbo 400 trans? TA he does, yeah. I think with the power we're about to make, I think we'll need some like beetle locks or something. Yeah, we're gonna need some welds. You know, Abby's car, it does have that 427 LSX. Throw the LSX in there. Uh, Kevin, we call Kevin, he can yep. weld. The front end is disgusting on this. We definitely need GT350 front end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get working on this. I'll, uh, I'll see you next week. Next week? Yep. I have owned this thing for like three days now and <laughs> I have had more fun with this car 
off camera than any other car I've ever like owned before. God, buy a drag car. Here's your depression. This car obviously comes equipped with a turbo 400 transmission, which means that it has a trans brake, which means that you can launch this car. <laughs> That's all you have to get under to win Ruby, my 2015 GMC 2500. It's got a beautiful satin chrome red wrap, thanks to our guys over at Mittens Customs. 24 by 14 JTI Forge wheels wrapped in 33 inch Venom tires. They look amazing and they're great for burnouts. Custom high country leather interior with a starlight headliner. It's got an LML Duramax and it's tuned and deleted with a straight pipe. It sounds amazing. It's a blast to drive and it could be yours. All you have to do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below to get entered today. Super simple and act fast because for the next 72 hours, we're doing a times three entry multiplier. So take advantage of the sale, get entered today. And who knows, on August 20th, we might be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck. Good luck everybody. Enjoy the rest of the video. This is what happens when you drive a 1600 horsepower car that likes to shoot five foot flames out the beautiful exhaust that comes out the bumper. Uh, you get this, you get, you get this. If you look right there, 1 million degree temperatures, exhaust temperatures that is, uh, melted the plastic and obliterated this bumper. Also, it, it kind of like split it in half. So basically useless, but that's okay. We got a new bumper, new GT350 bumper. I ordered a GT500 bumper probably two weeks ago. I think I got scammed by an eBay seller. That never showed up. Yesterday we sent Brian down to Atlanta. He picked up one off Facebook Marketplace. So it's the same as the last one, except it doesn't have a gaping hole in it yet. We have to cut one. It's unpainted, obviously. Sand this down. We got all the plastics, all the inserts and everything. Sand it down as well. We're gonna paint those. Gloss black, I think it looks really good if it's all gloss black instead of like some of this textured black bullshit. Uh, we're gonna all painted looks beautiful uh, and I'm about to fuck it up old bumper obviously had a big gaping hole for the exhaust that comes out the side that completely trashed the old bumper I got heat wrap so we're gonna heat wrap the exhaust make it look all pretty and then we're gonna cut that hole pretty simple yeah boy did that make a freaking mess sick now we have a Exhaust hole. All right, so we're too poor to afford new parts, so we are recycling old parts. There you go. The other oh. two came out. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, this is bad.
So either one of two things is happening. I'm quitting YouTube and going back to concrete or we're going to Cars and Coffee. I don't think you're quitting. Last time I checked, none of my videos get monetized. So can't really afford anything. I had to sell like all my trucks. That was sold actually. The fifth gen sold. That's actually why Kevin's here. He's buying everything because I've just gone bankrupt in the past like 30 seconds. But we're keeping the car because he painted the bumper and we got it running. This is Medusa. This is my, what year is this? I have no fun. 16. 2016 Mustang GT 350 500 ZR1. Uh, turbo mustang gt my favorite part about this whole car is the fact that it's not really even a mustang kevin how do you feel about this you like mustangs don't you i love mustangs but it definitely has the right motor in it from the factory it came with the wrong motor i don't know why when they ordered it they clicked like 5.0 coyote i don't know why you would ever do that so we had to obviously swap it out for a uh, lsx 427 lsx it's got like some tiny injectors and like light fuel work i think it's got like some head studs maybe I, I don't know nothing nothing really too crazy and then this massive no this super tiny conservative 98 millimeter turbo the size of my face put that together and you get like a uh 20, 13, 13 million horsepower yeah somewhere around there yeah something like that detune it makes about 13 and a half million horsepower we've had this car for like three weeks um i crashed it the first week I drove it, the exhaust blew the bumper off. So we've kind of just been like rebuilding the car on top of LSX swapping it. So we had a busy three weeks. It's also got a turbo 400. That's because uh, the manual that was in it, I didn't know how to drive manual. So then I auto swapped it and then I didn't like the auto and it, it just fell apart. So I put a turbo 400 in it. It also has the GT350 seats that I found at the junkyard. I don't know, like somebody like wrecked their Mustang. What a surprise. And uh, I got these for like $5. So shout out to the Antarctica junkyard. They're pretty great. Idles like garbage. It's, idles like it has a fucking cammed LS in it. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with it. The turbo also just spins forever. I don't really know why. I think it's definitely broken. I think we have to like put some sand in there. It has too much grease. So I think we gotta like degrease it. So yeah. now it stopped. It should have stopped when I turned the car off, right? Yeah, other than that, it's just like normal everyday driver. I bought it just to uh my truck doesn't fit in the drive thru at McDonald's over here. I needed a car. So I figured this would be a good daily drive. It gets like five miles per gallon. So I'm actually saving money because that gets negative five miles per gallon. I save about $12,000 a month, or maybe I'm losing $12,000 a month. I don't know, I'm terrible at math. My financial advisor quit because they said that I was like, I make horrible financial decisions and I actually do the opposite of what she was recommending. So she kind of just left and I'm on my own. Quite possibly the biggest cars and coffee I've ever even seen. Everything from old trucks to classics to R8s and NSXs. What the fuck? Lit. Whoa, look at that. That's pretty raw. Look at that. That's crazy.
buy a Mustang, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Oh, hey there. Yeah, I do need a tow. So basically what happened was I, I left the light right over there and uh, it started spinning and then went this way. And I was like, oh, I got this. And then went this way and I was like, oh yeah, you still got this. And I did 360 and then I went into the ditch. I did like three backflips and then ended up right here. Oh, show got 2G. Sheesh. That makes sense. That bitch is clean. It already didn't have a front bumper, so that's good. The rear bumper is kind of kachowed, but I really didn't like it anyway. It'll start. Let's see how reliable this thing is. It's reliable. It was actually kind of fun though. It was like a, it was like a roller coaster, just a really expensive <laughs> roller coaster. Fun a little bit, and I got out of it. Got back into it, and it rolled onto the other side. Caught it again. I was off the throttle for like half of the spinning, and it did a 360, I think, went into the ditch, and then spun around and stood like this, and then my hat flew off, but it actually, I mean, it, it runs. what car can you crash and then drive it home? <laughs> and we're already talking about doing the rear diffuser anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, fuck it. Gonna have to delay the reveal slightly. I gotta order more parts now. Call dad. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, let me call my dad. 